In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. And welcome as we celebrate Mass today on this Memorial Day. As we begin, we pause to call to mind our sins and to ask the Lord's mercy and peace. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the power of the Holy Spirit come to us, we pray, O Lord, that we may keep your will faithfully in mind and express it in a devout way of life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While Apollos was in Corinth, Paul traveled through the interior of the country and down to Ephesus, where he found some disciples. He said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They answered him, We have never even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. He said, How were you baptized? They replied, With the baptism of John. Paul then said, John baptized with a baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him, that is, in Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Altogether, there were about twelve men. He entered the synagogue and for three months debated boldly with persuasive arguments about the kingdom of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is Alleluia. Alleluia. God arises. His enemies are scattered, and those who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so are they driven, as wax melts before the fire. Alleluia. Alleluia. But the just rejoice and exult before God. They are glad and rejoice. Sing to God, chant praise to his name, whose name is the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. The father of orphans and the defender of widows is God in his holy dwelling. God gives a home to the forsaken. He leads forth prisoners to prosperity. Alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. If then you are raised with Christ, seek what is above, for Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. The disciples said to Jesus, Now you are talking plainly and not in any figure of speech. Now we realize that you know everything and that you do not need to have anyone question you. Because of this, we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you believe now? Behold, the hour is coming and has arrived when each of you will be scattered to his own home and you will leave me alone. But I am not alone because the Father is with me. I have told you this so that you might have peace in me. In the world you will have trouble, but take courage. I have conquered the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
My dear friends, these past few weeks have been very strange and unsettling for all of us. Five months ago, if someone were to tell us that our churches would be closed and that nearly 100,000 people would die from an alien virus, we would pay no attention to it. And yet it has become a reality. At a time when people need to be together, we are mandated to keep our distance. Those who are ill find themselves isolated and their loved ones feel the pain of not being with them to hold them, to uh, hug, give them a hug, or to just kind of be in their company. Jesus told his disciples in our gospel for today that they too will feel scattered and alone. Yet they are not and they never will be abandoned because they will have the Spirit to guide them and to be with them and he will never abandon them or will never abandon us even though we have to live through difficult circumstances. The presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives comes to us in different ways, especially since we are baptized and we are part of a wide family, alive with the love of Christ. We also feel the presence of the Holy Spirit through the loving friendships that we share with others. We are in turn to be that comforting and consoling presence for others in our families and in our communities. We now stand for our prayers of the faithful. Let us now bring our petitions to God who never leaves us. For the church, may the Lord raise up holy men and women to lead and teach in her name. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all nations of the world and for those who endeavor to lead them in truth and justice, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those who cannot practice their religion openly, may God grant them fortitude. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For our faith community, may the Holy Spirit help us grow even deeper in our faith in God and our love for each other, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they rest in peace and light in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Simon Levian, a special intention for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. On this Memorial Day, we think of those who gave their lives so that we might enjoy the gift of freedom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. And we continue to pray for all those who are ill at this time. May God keep them in his loving care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. God of all creation, hear our prayers and answer them in your goodness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. God, Mr. of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbles himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my 
friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May this unblemished sacrifice purify us, O Lord, and impart to our minds the force of grace from on high, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people, exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When, when we, we eat, eat this bread and, and drink this cup, cup we, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Arthur, our Bishop, and Kevin, our Bishop-elect, and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. To him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now as one family, as brothers and sisters in Christ, let us pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the sins, sins of the world, have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep us safe for eternity. Amen. keep us safe for eternity. Amen. And now we pray our act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. And on this Memorial Day, we have a prayer for peace. Gracious God, on this Memorial Day, we pause to reflect upon our blessings as a nation and the high cost of those blessings. Thank you for the freedom we enjoy in this country, for opportunities to flourish, and for the security of our land. Thank you for those who have served in the armed forces of our country, risking their lives for our liberty. Even as we remember those who have given their lives in the past, we also think of those whose lives are on the line today. Protect them, encourage them, bring them home safely and soon. Loving Father, inspire leaders of nations to pursue peaceful means to solve conflicts instead of resorting to violence and war. Change their hearts and minds. We long for the day when people will beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. 
All praise to you, God of grace, God of mercy, and God of peace. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. God bless you. Have a great day and a very happy Memorial Day with your family and friends.